great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM. Now, if you fancy something that's easy to make and rich in flavour, then why not give Catherine's honey and yoghurt bread loaf a try? Yes. I've been a greedy gut. I started already. <laughs> well, we've, we've all had some now at this stage. Yeah. Catherine Layden. Anyway. Morning, here, darling. Uh, morning, Mark. Love. Now, here we have a quarter pint of natural yogurt. Do you remember I mentioned there just a while the ago? The seeds. The seeds. Pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, chia seed, and poppy seed. Okay. And you can also use just a natural yogurt, okay? Right. So and all use that. the one with the seeds. And that'll make a lovely dessert as well, just the hunt, just the yogurt. And you know what? Honey. If you're going to do it in something like that, you might as well use the one with the seeds and get a bit more oh, exactly. something else from nutrition. Yeah, out my wife swears by chia seeds. She says really? It's super food, yeah. She has Does it she really? every, every morning. And just wow. like, but putting it into this, there you have it. Right, you can put it yeah. anywhere. Now, tablespoonful of light brown muscovado sugar. But if for dietary reasons you don't want to use the refined sugar, you can use an extra tablespoonful of honey. Okay. Okay. So you're so just now, sweetening it then? Correct. Does the honey make a difference, Catherine? What, is there but a difference to the taste? There is. It's not as sweet. The honey's not as sweet as the refined okay. sugar. But it gives a nice flavour to it. Now, here we have one egg. So we're putting, basically, we're putting all the liquid ingredients into the mixing bowl. To that now, I'm going to add my three tablespoonfuls of oil. And the tip we've given before okay. for honey or golden okay. syrup, dip the spoon into boiling water um, before you put the honey on it. But if you do what I'm doing here, put the oil on first. You're you using the oil instead of butter, eh? Correct. Okay. Exactly. You have it in one, Mark. Instead of butter. Now, if you put the oil in first, you'll watch the honey just slides off the spoon for yeah. you. So that's Are a tip. You put your oil in first. Now I'm putting in about three tablespoonfuls of honey, which will come out a bit faster for us here. You can use up to five tablespoons. Oh and of course, a tablespoon is the, the larger one. Yeah. Mm. Three would be enough, wouldn't it? Yeah, you would get away with three, actually, yeah. you would, yeah. You would get away with three. So I think the best way to deal with this fella now is to take the top off it. It's getting a bit slow. There you That's go. Five. Oh, but you know, well, there's five gone in now, even no, if four. we didn't want to. It's only four gone in. Now, so, honey, yogurt, honey, yogurt, oil, egg, egg, and the brown sugar. So you just combine those ingredients together first. It's really, really simple to make. Mm. Oh, the smell of the yogurt there. No, Gosh, I get ruining me. Mark's suit. I get you, Mark. Well, no, you in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, I hope I did. So, now, by the way, you may wonder, does the honey blend in with that? It does with the yoghurt. The yoghurt breaks it down. Next, we're going to add our 8 ounces, 225 grams of wheat meal. You can also use coarse whole meal. This is your, but this the is the meal, Odlums one, is yeah, it? Yeah, that's the Harsh Delight one. Oh, right. But you can also, um, the wheat meal is really... a a coarse whole meal with some extra bran added to it. So it's that little bit more nutritious. Okay. Now, to that we're going to add a level teaspoonful of bread soda. And as we've said before, always keep the sieve near at hand because the bread soda is prone to lumping. And a lump of soda will go green in the baking. Oh, really? And also important to keep your bread soda and baking powder airtight. If they're left exposed to the air, the raising agent will go flat in them. And It'll be no good to you. It won't rise like it should do. Yeah. Now, to that, we're going to add... Now, you were asking, was there any spices? Yeah, I detected a little bit of spice, but I couldn't yeah. tell what it was. A level teaspoonful of cinnamon. Now, if you're very fond of cinnamon, you can go up to two teaspoonfuls, but it's a No, you've got no, That was I just right. I we have it just mm. right, yeah. And now, into that, we're going to add about half a packet of our flaked almonds. But I didn't even taste them in it now as much. I, I could see them on the top, but yeah. I... Uh, you're not keen on them, sure. No, not. and I didn't taste them at all now. No. So, all the mix, just mix it all in. Now, Catherine, people who bake would be... I, I, I'm looking at that and thinking, that's an awful lot of liquid. That would frighten a lot of people, wouldn't it? Um, it would, but you see, Mark, because of the extra bran ah, in the wheat right, meat, okay. the bran absorbs it fairly quickly. So that's why it's important as well, once you have it mixed... Stand back. Stand back, <laughs> Bosco. Suit alert. Suit alert. Now, <laughs> just beat well until all the ingredients are combined. So once you have your ingredients all laid out, it's very simple. Very simple. As we've said before, get all the ingredients together first of all, and mm -hmm. you fairly quickly get through your preparation. So you if have your... I left that now for any length of time, here's my spatula. If I left that now for any length of time, it would actually start getting thick because the bran would absorb yeah. the liquid. Does it bulk up? It does. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is transfer that to the two-pound loaf tin and spread it out evenly in the tin. This now, this because it's so wet, it does take nearly an hour, three quarters of an hour to an hour to bake, okay. because it's baked at quite a low temperature. Mm. It's baked at mm. 150 
centigrade. I have, one, I have three, the one here. 300 Fahrenheit, gas mark two. Okay, for about an that. hour. Whoa, now, there we go. There we go. Now, when you have it baked, you take it out, you leave it in the tin to go cold. Oh, right, okay. And there you have it. It should be nice and springy when you touch it. How long do you leave it for again? Two quarters of an hour to an hour. Yeah. It's very low heat. And there and it that's is. That's what the here. finished product looks like. And it is really lovely. Well, no, you're now I did... forgot to put these on top. Hold the head. Oh, hold the head. <laughs> hold the head. Oh, well, that's, it's OK. It's minutes. OK. Oh, no, no, she wants to do it. Oh, we have to do it. There you go. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> on the top now, of there. there. So there comes out like that. They're lovely. Yeah, but And you there... know, when it touches it like that, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's Now, done. there's a typical example. If I didn't line those ingredients up on my right-hand side, I wouldn't realise I'd left out the, the nuts. Now, so well worth remembering that, okay? Catherine, it is gorgeous. Oh, it is, it's absolutely beautiful. Remember the, the, uh, there's the wallet and banana you did yes, recently? Yes, that was, that was a real hit. This is even better. Right, yeah. There you go. So, Thank you very much for that. As always, pleasure. a pleasure. We'll my see you next pleasure. week. Now, still to come in Ireland AM, Kira will be finding out how to grow your own vegetables. The Fire Brigade will be advising us on how to keep safe in the kitchen. And the Dublin Gospel Choir will be treating us to a tune. Can't wait. Don't go anywhere. Lovely. Great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM.